Hello, good people of the internet. I have returned to another video. It's been a month since the last one, but I uh, just figured I would give you an update on sort of what's been going on and uh, stuff to look forward to, what's coming out. Um, I wanted to start by saying, uh, just pretty much at the, right after I had filmed the last video, I had a hard drive crash. So I, I lost a whole bunch of stuff that I had, which is... You know, it, it is what it is. That's, you know, lesson learned. Learn to back up your stuff and, and all that good stuff. But what it has done is I've really started listening to a lot more of uh, my CDs again. So, and I'll explain why. So, a lot of my music that I have, I have a, I've, I used a, um, a, a program called iSub. If you have an, an iPhone, uh, you can basically stream your music, uh, your library, uh, to your phone. So the um, kind of the advantage of that is is if you have a lot of physical media, uh, you don't have to, you know, download it from iTunes or re-download it or whatever the case may be. Uh, you can stream it directly to your device, which is cool. Um, so a lot of my music that I have, I just, you know, used from that hard drive and uh, uh, would stream to my phone. So that hard drive crashed. I lost a lot of my music. So I'm kind of in the process of sort of putting them all back uh, onto a new hard drive. So, um, which kind of brought me to some of these CDs that I've been listening to. So, um, I want to start with this. So I, I discovered this, there, there's a record store in Pittsburgh that has changed hands and it is, has now closed. Um, but it was sort of the place to go as far as if you wanted sort of, um, you know, CDs. Uh, they had some vinyl, but really they were sort of focusing on a lot of the um, sort of the, the fringe labels, I guess you could say. So um, I would always go there and, you know, you'd get your Tropicalia and you'd get, um, you know, like the stuff that's all those genres that are basically created genres at the time. They were just pop music or music, um, but now they've since been labeled. But that was a place you could go to get stuff like that. So um, a few years back, so this came out in 2015, I picked up this. This is called Dust on the Nettles. It's a journey through the British underground folk scene. Uh, it's on the Grapefruit label, which is sort of an imprint of um, Cherry Red. And you can kind of see some of the tracks that are on there. We've got the Incredible String Band. Um, there's some Pentacle. Um, so just really cool stuff that uh, uh, Bill Fay, you know, there's kind of that weird sort of um, Clive Palmer is on here. Um, just So it's it's sort of that, um, kind of that Nick Drake sort of uh, folk scene that was the, you know, they were folk singers, they were British folk singers, but they were sort of um, maybe a little weird. And, and I think that um, if we start and we talk about uh, Pentangle, I think that really uh they had no peers i mean there was nobody that came close to what they did and even if you say fairport convention uh, i think fairport convention was more so uh they took a look at sort of the Jeff jefferson airplane um you know that sort of that folk rock model but uh this is really cool so I, this this comp is um you know i picked that up uh when it came out let me put these down here for a second um but you know the the it's a really cool kind of packaging. So it's just like a just a clamshell box, um, three CDs, bing bang boom, and and then it just is like this huge book of you know liner notes. And there's great stuff in here. Um, you know it, it just you know, fresh maggots are in there. Um, on the first day. So a lot of this the kind of weirdo folk music. Um, in, in being in the United States, this is stuff that is just, these are like record collectors. This is like a compilation for record collectors, right? So uh, there's a lot of albums that are just, um, just beyond out of my price range to even get. So again, on the CD, through the CD model of that, it's... Um, the, I get the good songs, and a lot of those albums, they weren't popular because they were not that good, but, you know, these usually collect uh, some of the best tracks on here. So uh, this one has, what, 60, 63 tunes? Very cool. And these these retail for probably anywhere from, like, 20 to $25. Uh, you might be able to find them, like, as low as 16 um, But, yeah, so I had that one for a while, and, you know, I'm just kind of 
um, taking a look at some music, and uh, I, I was like, oh yeah, that was such a great comp. I wonder if they, you know, well, actually on the back of it, um, they had, hey, here's some of the other stuff that we've released. So I started looking into that, and I discovered uh, this set, which is, I'm a freak baby. So this is a journey through the British heavy psych and hard rock underground 1968 to 1972. So I've always kind of thought like my my musical sort of uh, time frames by 72 music really kind of takes a different turn. And um, if you really like psychedelic music at that point, it was sort of becoming passe and nobody really was like it was either you became progressive rock or sort of went into that arena rock or, you know, you just sort of disappeared into obscurity. Um, this is another one that's, um, it's not as many tracks just because a lot of these are like long, like six minute kind of stuff. But, um, if I guess the best way to describe this is like, if you think about bands like Black Sabbath, right? These are the bands that were on the same bill in like opening support for Black Sabbath. Um, not necessarily, they really didn't have a vision. So a lot of these bands, maybe two or three years earlier were sort of play, playing like the British boogie blues or whatever and um they were trying to look for what the next step would be so they would they became uh sort of these weird you know underground bands so um this particular set so this the the there's two of these and i'll show you the second one in a moment here uh the i'm a freak baby this one has um uh so the deviants are on here groundhogs with cherry red which was probably their best tune uh, the Pink Fairies, Wicked Lady, which is another band that sort of, uh, they're very popular now because of sort of that, um, you know, reissues that have come out for the, for the band. Um, Deep Purple is on here. Uh, the Yardbirds are on here. Uh, and also Fleetwood Mac. So it's the, uh, the Green Manalishi with the two prong crown, which was, so that kind of gives you an idea of sort of, so like when Fleetwood Mac, this would have been about 1968 or 1969 when, uh, then play on came out like they really were kind of directionless. They really didn't know what they were doing uh, As far as they weren't really playing blues anymore. They were writing their own songs um, So this compilation really sort of takes a look at that era, which is which I think is totally cool. You know, it's um, again, this is sort of um, You know, the packaging is exactly the same three discs and just a booklet with just a huge amount. Like, I mean, that's some tiny print. You need glasses to read that. Um, but it, you know, very well done. Um, it's just bios on each band, each track. Uh, and, you know, it's enough stuff in here to, you know, keep you regular for quite a few days. Um, I actually got this one first, which was I'm a Freak Baby Volume 2. Uh, this does expand it from 1968 to 1973. I kind of like this one right now a little bit better than the first one because I think that uh, this is sort of just like the essential sort of uh, genre describing like or defining uh, like, okay, this is this is what was going on. This is the stuff that's like, okay, um, there's still great tracks on here. Um, you have uh, The Move is on here. The Move is on that first one too. We have bands like Budgie, um, Jeff Beck, Shapes of Things, which is like the second track on here. So, you know, again, you can kind of get an idea. Um, you know, these bands were sort of trying to figure out what to do and, you know, what the next step of, of music was so that they, you know, kind of were directionless. But again, this is sort of the period when you have Hawkwind and, um, you know, again, the Deviants are on here as well. Atomic Rooster. Um, the Love Sculptures on here, Leaf Hound, which is, again, another record that's like a huge high dollar record. Um, just get this because it has, you know, Freelance Fiend on it, which is probably their best track. Um, high Tide is on this as well. So, um, you know, this uh, record came out on Liberty. Pretty hard to get. I think they've repressed it. But again, um, this is sort of like, you know, the record collectors kind of uh, if you just want to listen to it, if you just want to enjoy it and not be like, get into that huge, um, you know, just trying to find like these one records for, you know, they're two and $300, uh, go with this stuff. So again, it's on grapefruit, really awesome sort of collections. Um, I have a couple more. There's another one that came out that was, um, sort of all the stuff from 1970. So it's was spotlighted specifically on that. Um, 
I'll probably show that in an upcoming video. But uh, this one is also pretty cool. This one has been sort of hard for me to kind of really kind of get into. So where this is the, where this is sort of like the, the underground sort of fringe side of things. This is more sort of the, the popular, um, this is uh, just sort of British folk rock, right? So uh, you'll have uh, artists like Michael Chapman, uh, Steel Eye Span, Spawn or however you want to say it, uh, Spirogyra, um, The Humble Bums, which was the band that Jerry Rafferty was in prior to uh, kind of uh, the Steeler's Wheel. Um, you have Jade, which is another kind of band that sort of sounded like Fairport Convention that had one hit um, <laughs> Trader Horns on here. Um, what else? Alan Hall, Matthew Sovereign Comfort, Straubs, Fairport Convention, Bill Fay, Unicorn, uh, Bridges St. John, uh, COB, which was that, I think that was uh, Clive's, whatever, I don't remember what the name of the, I can't think of what it is right now. Um, Dando Shafts on here, Fresh Maggots, of course. Uh, Andy Roberts, Pentacle again, Ralph McTell. Uh, so you can sort of get an idea on sort of what this is. So this is more sort of the popular, um, kind of what I would say maybe like the island folk. So basically the the, the bands that were in the, the singers and that were signed to the, uh, the island label. Um, but again, fantastic stuff. Um, same, same setup. You got your three CDs and your big booklet that you just, you know, sit on the porch and enjoy and just, uh, so here's some of the other ones. So uh, a couple more psych ones like the Try a Little Sunshine, Gathered by Coincidence is another sort of folk one. Um, these are all sort of essentials in my opinion. So here are a couple psychedelics. These are sort of the freak beat kind of ones. Um, but it's just, it's it's been cool sort of exploring this. Um, and I had a conversation with Craig. Um, I forget what his handle is offhand. It's Zappa and then a series of numbers. I can't remember what it is. Uh, I, he really hasn't done many videos lately, I don't think. Um, but it, we were sort of talking about sort of getting back into, uh, we both have been sort of enjoying the Woodstock uh, stuff. So I've been really listening to a lot of music from that sort of era, the 1969, 70 and earlier. Um, so I've really been just, you know, like I said, it's great to kind of just go back and explore stuff in your collection. And this is stuff that I've had for a very long time. And um, I just didn't show it, you know what I mean? Like it's sometimes that vinyl finds, hey, here's this. But I wanted to kind of give you an idea on what's out there. Um, this is another one that's kind of fun. Uh, this is on the RPM label, which I, for, I think it's from Ace Records. I think it's a subsidiary. I can't remember offhand. Uh, but this is called All the Young Droogs. So... 60 juvenile delinquent wrecks and um the best way to describe this is and again this is another genre that has sort of been created since uh this stuff came out but they call it junk store or, or junk shop glam which is these are you know when david bowie was sort of popular uh with you know the ziggy stardust thing all these bands that sort of uh jumped on and kind of um like mop the hoople and uh you know, uh, Bilbo Baggins, which I think was sort of, they did a cover of like the Bay City Rollers. So it's, it's very, that very strange period in, in music for probably, you know, 1973 to 74 or five. Um, but it's just, it's awesome just to sort of, uh, check these compilations out. And these are records that like, I just, I, I would not have access to. So, uh, you know, we can talk about how the, you know, Endless Trip, one of the reasons why I love that book is um, I could look through it and I could just go to the record store and I could pick these records up. Um, a lot of the stuff that's in Galactic Ramble, it's a great book, but at the same time, I just don't have access to that stuff. So uh, you can, you know, you can download, we have access to so much stuff through blogs and things like that, but you can't get the, uh, you know, that, that going into a record store and buying that, it just, it doesn't happen. And it's, you know, buying stuff through Discogs and whatever. Sure, you can do that, but um, yeah, just lovely booklet here again. You know, just and this is cool because that's actually the way that whoops, the um, Clockwork Orange in the movie they sort of did that. So there's sort of the, you know, the the styling of this is is a lot similar to the grapefruit stuff. So, but again, I've just been I've been enjoying this stuff so much, and I thought this was weird, and I will show this. Uh, is that not Jack Black? <laughs> <laughs> it, it it's like i swear that's jack black it has to be him must have jumped in the time machine and played in a in a glam band so all right that's that that's all i have for you so enjoy if you're in the states i hope you're enjoying a nice labor day weekend um and listening to lots of great tunes 
and these are just some fun stuff to pick up. I'll show you these too. These are also, uh, if you're kind of into this stuff, like the, if you like the, the freak bead and the, uh, you know, the, the sort of the early nuggets kind of stuff, um, you know, the rubble compilations, these are also really very cool. So that's basically 20 CDs of just, you know, the records on here are worth thousands of dollars. They really, really are, because there's some, you know, there's, there's singles in here that are, you know, um, one of my one of my favorite tracks on here, Spider and the Fly by the Daytonas, which is uh, Ronnie and the Daytonas, once they sort of left him in 1968, uh, they released their own album. Or actually, they just, released, they just released a couple of singles, but the song Spider and the Fly is just a really hard rocking song. Um, but we're, you know, yeah, I don't want to pay $175 for it on Discogs for one song. So you can probably get both of these for probably 70 bucks. So that's that. So again, enjoy your weekend and uh, we'll talk to you soon. So take care.